Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to talk to you about infusing your home with meaning by decorating with pieces that tell a story in your home. I get compliments from you guys all the time about how you live, how cozy my home feels, and I feel like that's because I've really tapped into that meaning factor, the things that have history and memories and stories. Today I'm so excited to be collaborating with Holly over at Living It Country. She is a fellow Washington State girl, and her and her husband actually built their little farmhouse. They have so many wonderful pieces that have a story to them. When you're done watching my video, you can check out hers. I'll link it down below. So I hope you'll go check out Holly's channel next. You will love her. So I wanted to take you guys through different spots in my home and sort of highlight some pieces in my house that I use to tell a story to maybe spark some ideas of how you could use some pieces in new and interesting ways in your home. So let's start by talking about pieces with history. So this could be the history or the story of how you found it. So whether you found it on the side of the road or you pulled it out of an old building, if you have some sort of cool story of how you accumulated a piece, it's just fun to incorporate that into your home. Things with a story and a history just have more presence in your home decor. You can also incorporate handmade items into your home. My table that my husband and my dad built for me is now definitely a piece that tells a story and I love it. I love that their hard work and love was poured into making this piece. I will always treasure it. I have hooks right inside my door that my dad made. I have a shelf that he made me as a little girl in my hallway. I have little pumpkins displayed for fall, one that my sister crocheted and one that I made out of a sweater. I have a piece of linen that a great, great aunt of mine embroidered. I have Molly's artwork framed in our bathroom. When you walk in and you see something that someone made for you or that you made yourself, there is that instant connection and it just magnifies the cozy factor in your space. You can also incorporate things that have been handed down to you from others. My coffee table was a hand-me-down from my parents. They have a cool story for how they found this secondhand and now now it's in my home. This placement that you see under my centerpiece was actually my mom's. She used it in our kitchen all the time as I was growing up. I have my husband's grandmother's childhood book and the pages are so beautifully illustrated and kind of falling apart. So I decided to start displaying the pages of this book as artwork and I absolutely love it. I have my grandmother's jewelry box and inside I keep all the letters she wrote me when I was a little girl growing up and it's an absolute treasure to me. Another way to just instantly add meaning to your home is to incorporate pieces that hold memories for you or members of your family. They could be childhood memories for you, they could be memories that you share as a family, incorporating a piece of driftwood that you found on the beach on your vacation. I have flowers here in my kitchen that we picked on a recent hike. I dried them and they're displayed now on my shelves and my kids have a lot of pride that they picked those with me. For me, I have a strong childhood memory of my great grandfather's shop. He would line the side of his shop with glass insulators. I remember just looking at that and marveling at how pretty that was and I remember kind of staring at them and he, in his kind of quirky way, explained to me what they were. And I remember laughing and, and smiling with him when he was talking to me about these insulators. So when I came across a bucket full of these insulators at a yard sale for $2, I grabbed them and found a way to display them in my home because of that childhood memory that was sparked in me when I saw them. And they're really pretty here on the shelf in our bathroom, but they also mean a lot to me as I think back on that memory, uh, talking with my great-grandfather as a little girl. One of my favorite ways to incorporate more meaning into my home decor is to use vintage pieces. I'm a huge fan of going to yard sales and thrifting and I share with you guys a lot of my finds here on my channel and part of the reason why I buy those things is because I love to decorate with them. I find a piece that is older that has been pre-loved and worn in and used by someone else for years and years to be so much more meaningful than something that I picked up on on sale at Hobby Lobby. There's cute stuff at Hobby Lobby, don't get me wrong, 
but I love a good vintage piece and I will go for that any day over something brand new. One of my recent favorites of vintage pieces I found was this puzzle. There was a note inside of it that said that it had belonged to that person's father who played with it as a child and their father had lived from 1920 to 1999. It has a story to it and now we get to continue the story here in our house. I also found this old toy at a yard sale. The woman who was hosting the yard sale told me that it had belonged to her older brother and how her brother had played with this toy as a child during the World War II era. I love that connection, that story that she told me about her big brother. She was almost 20 years younger than him and she just had this wonderful story of their family in that time period and I love that it's here now in my house and I get to display it and use it and have a way to remember the past and have the past live on in my home. An old favorite of mine is this beautiful blue vintage chair. I've shared it dozens and dozens of times here on my channel because I just love it that much. I found it at an estate sale for about $20 and I loved it. I love the color, the shape, everything. It has been a favorite in our home since I bought it. A friend stopped by once and we were chatting and she looked at the chair and that reminds me of a chair that my grandma had in her house and I said well who is your grandma because I bought it in the state sale and I told her the house that I bought it at and she's like yes that was my grandmother and she was just so sweet and grateful that it was in my home where I would love it and cherish it and take care of it that was really neat that I know the granddaughter of the person who owned this beautiful blue chair that I absolutely adore. So then the very last way that you can add meaning into your home decor, and this is the simplest, most easy and straightforward way, is to use photos. Use pictures. <laughs> use pictures of your loved ones. I have this really awesome display in my stairwell now of all these photos from my phone that I've taken in the past couple years. I got these from Mixed Tiles and they just stuck directly onto the wall. I love that. It was so quick and easy, a wonderful way to just add a bit of our family story to our home. I also have pictures of my children in our dining space and they're each six months old in these pictures and they love to look at them and talk about them and talk about their differences and their similarities when they were babies. It's a very meaningful thing for us to have displayed in such a prominent place in our home. I hope you guys were inspired to hear ways that you can add meaningful decor into your home. Thanks so much to Holly for joining up with me today. Don't forget to go check out her video next. If you're coming over from Holly's channel, hello and welcome. I'm excited that you're here. I love making my home beautiful little by little and sharing my journey and process with you guys here on my channel. If you like that kind of thing too, be sure to hit that red subscribe button because I have much more coming your way this fall. Thanks so much everyone for watching. Take care and I will be back with more soon. Bye!